hello, and welcome to ASMR, gentlemen. I guess this is our official first hello. My name is Andy, and it's a pleasure and an honor, actually, to meet every single one of you. I am actually blown away at the aspect that I have over... 3,200 subscribers. You all are absolutely amazing. Um, it's actually kind of surreal, the aspect of having over 3,000 people who enjoy my content. Um, give me one second. I opened this window because it was 80 degrees today and uh, about 75 degrees in the house i'm smoldering at the moment I'm, I'm super hot and so i decided to open the window because a cold front is moving in and it's going to drop from 82 down to 26 tonight <laughs> yay so give me a second we'll close the window so anyways i will uh now start talking more gently and I will go through different things like the uh, tone of voice I have right now to uh, whispering and back and forth between us a few things so to get to know me um, I actually for my day job is uh, lawn care I'll actually do a few blips of what I do in this video just so people get to know exactly what I do for a living Besides this, I actually don't make a lot from YouTube yet. I, I hope to eventually. This is this is a uh, hopefully a, a stepping stone to many dreams to come. I uh, first just so going to pop open a little beer. going to ask uh, if you guys could leave a comment down below what is your favorite root beer um, this is actually going to be for another video I have three more in the refrigerator at the moment but uh, I'm going to use it in uh, another video probably hopefully my next one we'll have to see um, but yeah comment down below what's your favorite root beer I do like IBC and I think A&W is my favorite but I do go back and forth on a lot of them so again let me know <laughs> all right so uh, I do lawn care I cut grass, I um, trim bushes, install rock or mulch or garden borders, and I do um, basically any yard maintenance that is required. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 17. I am now 36 now, <laughs> so almost 20 years. Um, I uh, actually would really enjoy um, doing this full time because I really do enjoy
excuse me, blooper. <laughs> Makes you burp. I would really like to do this full time or more full time. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy the sounds the gentle movements and basically everything there is to do with ASMR the first triggers I remember was a, <coughs> excuse me I was at a bookstore with my mom and we were checking out items and uh, the girl behind the counter, <laughs> she was bringing this up and she had this ridiculously calming voice in the way she put the items into the uh, bag. I, I was in my teens and I remember it. It was the, it was a big, I, I told my mom later, I was like, I, could have fallen asleep standing up was how strong the trigger was for me um so ever since then i i, I noticed it periodically but um uh, yeah that was a uh, <laughs> that's one of the many reasons why i got onto asmr um again this is going to be a Kind of like a, a get to know me video and also a at times I guess rant against AS, the, the new ASMR community. I was scrolling through and I found myself uh, kind of like I am in a sea of garbage. <laughs> I will say this though, I am um, to his and to her their own, if they enjoy certain videos that I don't, that's, that's your privy and I am totally cool with that. I, back in the day when I was younger, I probably wouldn't, like my, uh, when I was in my late teens, somebody would say that they didn't like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings and I'd be like oh my goodness I can't believe you don't like those movies there's my favorite movies how can you not like them and but then I came to realize getting older that if everybody enjoyed the same things or wanted to do the exact same things life would be boring <laughs> to a certain degree I, I like that people don't like the same things I like because it gives me an appreciation for the things that are out there. Uh, different ethnic foods, for example. Um, I love Asian food. Um, I love Mexican food. And I, well, I guess I'll say this. I'm a foodie. I love food across the board. And um, if those who remember the picture I sent out to last January or February, I went with my brother to Washington for a work conference and we had a uh, hot pot and it was absolutely amazing. Um, tore my stomach up, but it was, it was so good. And I, I love food and I, I made a few food videos. I'm planning on making more. Um, I have a, a list of things I want to make. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, talking about movies. <clears throat> As you can see, the different ones that I have in the background here. Um, I am a, I would consider myself a huge nerd, but um, 
I don't think I'm as big of a nerd as I would like to be, <laughs> I guess. When I don't have room, I don't have room for uh, things that I'd like to have. Which reminds me, I was gonna wear something. All right, in the back. So, one of my friends uh, was in California and went to the riot headquarters and picked me up that and uh, another character from the Riot game League of Legends. So I, uh, one, really appreciate that he did that. And uh, so I'm a, I'm a huge nerd. I like video games, PC mostly, but I will also do other consoles as some of you saw, we have a Switch. And uh, I just, um, it's kind of like an escape when you go play video games at times. I, uh, that's a whole other video if you guys want me to make something about my video games that I play. Anyways, the uh, movies that I have is the Harry Potter series, the Avatar Last Airbender series, and the sequel to it, the Legends of um, Korra. Not the biggest fan of that one, um, just has a different appeal for it. Um, love, absolutely love the, Harry, the Lord of the Rings series. Absolutely love them. They are just, uh, if I had to pick a movie, a single movie, that is my absolute favorite, it would be this one. The uh, Fellowship of the Ring. So. This probably has to be my favorite movie of all times. The uh, reason is when I saw it when I was 13, so when it came out around my birthday um, in December. And uh, it I always liked fantasy and the mystical in certain things, but this one uh, completely took the cake. It, being 13, I was just on the edge of my seat the entire time, never saw a movie like this before, other than maybe like Star Wars. But even then, Star Wars wasn't the scope that this was at that time, it was so massive. Um, it was, I just fell in love with it to say the least. Um, but yeah, the I like the cover because it uh, actually looks like a book or this, the extended version of this one because it has the, uh, like the back of it and it looks like the book is worn ten times. And if you turn it to the back, you have the Mines of Moria and the spell that Gandalf, or the riddle that Gandalf read about speak friend and enter. And, and Frodo was the one who actually uh, remembered or asked the question, what is, it's a riddle not a spell, and what is the Elvish word for friend, and they were able to enter. Um, so, just, you open this up and you can see after they opened the doors into Moria. I would love to explore the mines, even if there's goblins. I would still love to explore them because it's it's so vast and uh, just mind blowing. Uh, Peter Jackson and those who created it did had such a good job. They did such a good job on just the film itself. It was beautiful. Uh, and as you can see, the the fellowship here. There's Gimli and the the, uh, 
There's Frodo there, Samwise, and there's uh, Mary Pippin, Gandalf, Aragorn, Legolas, and Boromir. And uh, you can see Mithril in parts of it, and just the staircase that go up and up and up to the vast city of Moria. And then you open it up. And at the map of Middle Earth with all the different bonus features, how they made it, the movie itself, with all the beautiful artwork in the back. Like I said, just Absolutely beautiful. I think for me, I can get lost in in these. The uh, first book I ever read through cover to cover was. The book, not the movie. <clears throat> These were not as good, in my opinion, as those, but I still enjoyed them. But, uh, yeah, The Hobbit was the first book I read cover to cover. I honestly couldn't put it down. It was so enticing. Um, <clears throat> Moving on, I am a big fan, and I'm trying to collect them all, of the Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, if you want to say it, films. I think I have more, I just don't know where they are at the moment. But, yeah, because I have Castle in the Sky as well. But yeah, he is a, an amazing, absolutely amazing, Hayao Miyazaki, and uh, like, absolutely amazing. If anybody hasn't seen his work, I would recommend it for sure. It is beyond. Disney does a good job on their stuff, but... Miyazaki, there's, if you do research on his stuff, they do so much attention to detail, it's, it's absolutely incredible, so I really recommend any of those, the older ones. Like in Napoleon as it is in this, but this far superior. 
sur surpasses any anything. Like they they were they were masterminds at what they did. It's so good. Alright, so <coughs> I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Major Star Wars fan. Um, and uh, when Family Guy put out their Star Wars trilogy, I had to buy it because it was so, so funny. I mean, absolutely hilarious on how they they picked, up, picked it apart. <laughs> Just thinking about it right now is making me laugh, actually. Oh. Uh, it, was, it was great. So. I, I'm genuinely, genuinely smiling over it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, for those who enjoy the back up so you can see it. Still want to do some ASMR in here rather than just be me rambling on about me. <laughs> to be honest, I've actually really enjoyed making this video. It's funny because I feel like I'm talking to you specifically. Um, no matter where that may be, Canada, uh, England, I've had people from Russia and uh, Germany, um, all over the world, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Just everywhere. So thank you for that. It's, it's huge. Um, for those who lived in, in uh, England, I went with my grand, my uncle uh, when I was 19, and we were about six blocks from Big Ben, and so I walked by it probably every day I was there, uh, and uh, it was actually nice, the, the, the weather, I should say. Um, it was kind of like a fluke, because we had for an entire week sunshine every day. Just complete sun, no rain. <laughs> um, temperature was a little, little more chilly, but it was still really, really pleasant to go. Uh, so, uh, Big Ben, um, St. Paul's Cathedral, um, the Eye, uh, Buckingham Palace, um, basically like a lot of the big um, staples, I guess you would say, didn't see Stonehenge, which I was really sad about, but oh well. Um, oh, and went to tons of museums, didn't see the British Museum, which made me sad because it's world renowned and I didn't get to see it. Oh well.
if you if anybody has any questions uh, that they want to ask please feel free to comment down below uh, I would love to answer any almost any questions you may have uh, other than like, the name of my kids and my wife <laughs> um, I, I am married I've been married for going to be 10 years this year been together since 2010 and I have two beautiful kids um, a daughter and a son and uh, she is seven and a half and he is two um, he just turned two in November so uh, they are so much fun <laughs> absolutely a joy um, one of the reasons why I want to do this for a living um, I want to uh, spend more time with them it life is really short and I want to spend as much time with them as I possibly can and um, so it, ASMR is a really good avenue for that like YouTube itself also if you guys want me to make another one of these and um, actually if you guys post a lot of questions I will make a second one of these and um, I, <laughs> I want to continue on it's 2 a.m. at the moment and um, I still have a thousand and one things um, basically I have um, I have too many ideas in my head that's floating around and bouncing from one side to the next and it kind of just spills out so I will say this uh, I like and enjoy movies I want to create I have eight movie ideas in my head and uh Some of them are movies, some of them are like series, um, post-apocalyptic, um, futuristic, uh, murder mystery, uh, romance, more sci-fi, more sci-fi, steampunk, um, and they're, they're literally just playing in my head. I think the book is in my room and I have pictures in there actually I will put them in the video right now these are ideas that I have um, for my my movie um, so if you guys are interested in that one um, I will uh, read the first four pages of that movie uh, if you guys are interested please let me know in the comments and I would love to share if my channel takes off and I am able to do more those might become a reality eventually someday the sky's the limit I guess right I guess last thing for tonight because it is getting late so if you again if you want me to make another one of these please let me know this is my seven eight year project right now been in the process of creating my own board game
it is, like I said, seven years in the making. Uh, well, no, eight years in the making now because I started started doing it. I was in Louisiana with my brother, uh, both my brothers and my wife, um, and she was pregnant with our daughter. And uh, so we played Settlers of Catan and I love the game, still do, but there was something missing in my mind with it. And so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna make my own. And eight years later, it's coming together. Still very um, difficult to make a board game. So if you guys want to know more about this um, the board game or the movie ideas that I have uh, or anything else, please let me know. Uh, I'm going, would you mind if I came closer? Thank you. So I wanted to say thank you to every single one of you. You are an amazing community of people. I am so blessed, so I feel so loved and cherished when I read all of your comments. It is absolutely wonderful and amazing. Uh, you are... <laughs> I kind of get giddy when I see a comment pop in and it's just, it's so much fun to be able to um, talk back and forth and to just, one, I, I love hearing that I'm able to help you relax or after a long day or to help you fall asleep or just to, just to actually enjoy watching my, my videos. Like that is, humbling to say the least and just it's been fun like this journey has been so much fun uh, so anyways i'm a rambler i would keep going and talking if i knew that <laughs> um when it's not 2 10 in the morning and um i have to get up and go to work tomorrow um so anyways Thank you all so much. I'm trying not to get emotional here. But thank you all so much for being awesome. And I wish there was a word that I could use other than just awesome. <laughs> but again, I will see you in my next video. Thank you all. Bye.